Okay, Mike. Yeah, I appreciate that question. I mean, your candor, your honesty, your clarity, um, you know, your transparency about uh, what is going on. I mean, how many people out there, my goodness, we all have. We've all prayed certain prayers, uh, you know, believing a certain thing, believing it would happen, uh, and it didn't happen. So what's going on there? Well, you know, I think you're right that uh, it has to do with being in his name and according to his will. I mean, think about it right like this. I mean, whether we're in Matthew 7 or Mark 11 or Matthew 21 or, you know, you, I could go on and on. There's different passages in the Gospels about ask and you'll receive, ask anything in my name and you'll receive. I mean, this sort of language is plastered all over the four Gospels. Well, you know, imagine, imagine that you are working for the President of the United States and he sends you overseas to Asia, for example. Um, I don't know, let's say North Korea, all that's going on there right now. Let's use that as the example. You're sent over as an ambassador to North Korea to negotiate on behalf of the President of the United States. And he, of course, gives you a dossier filled with all of his uh, talking points, the points he wants to get across, the things he wants to convey. He wants North Korea to be very aware of his will. And so he hands you this dossier and he says, go and speak in my name. Well, you get on the airplane, fly over to North Korea, but on the way, on that flight, you get some keen ideas of your own. You know, the president, maybe he doesn't know what he's talking about. Here's an idea. Well, I, I see what he's saying here in the dossier, but instead, you know what, I think this would work way better. And you start scribbling out on a napkin, you know, you pull it out from under your drink, you've got your tray table down, and you start scratching out ideas on that napkin, uh, just sort of scribbling whatever comes to mind that you think might work in your opinion. When you exit that plane and go speak with the North Koreans, you begin to share everything that you think should be done. Well, at that point, my friend, you are no longer speaking in the name of the president, are you? You're speaking in your own name, with your own agenda, with your own ideas. So I think you're on to something, Mike, as you began to contemplate your own question. I think it relates to the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus is not something we just tack on to the end of a prayer. I'd like a Lamborghini in the name of Jesus. I'd like three mansions in the name of Jesus. Well, we can tack those four or five words there in the name of Jesus. We can tack those on to any request, and yet we're still there, twiddling our thumbs, wondering, God, where are you? I did the formula right. I said all the right words at the end, so why didn't you show up and just do what I want you to do? Well, the answer to that is we're not acting in the name of Jesus. We're not acting in his will or according to his desires. So to me, that's why so many times we can find ourselves praying according to the flesh. How many times have we found ourselves praying about, well, I want this circumstance to change, and I want it to change right now. And we pray, and we pray, and we pray. And no matter how many times we say it, no matter how many words we use or how many times we tack on Jesus' name to the end of it, we can't seem to get it to happen. Well, could it be, could it be that we're not really speaking in Jesus' name? That that's not his heart for this situation? That his ways are not our ways? And sometimes prayer actually, well, it sort of funnels us down to the point where we have to decide, I give up my right. I give up my right to control this situation. I am going to let your way be the way, whatever it is. It sounds a bit like Jesus, doesn't it? Not my will, but your will be done. Does that mean something was wrong with Jesus? No, nothing was wrong with Jesus. But he was modeling for us this attitude of, you know what, I might have a way figured out for me to get through this, but in the end, I'm going to submit to your way. And your way is not my way, but I know that it's better. I may not feel that it's better right now, but I know that
that I know that I know that your ways are higher than my ways. So, Mike, uh, those are some thoughts on what it really means to speak or pray in the name of Jesus and according to the mind of Christ and in the will of God. Uh, you know, God is a person. Jesus is a person. Uh, that means he uh, has thoughts and feelings and an agenda and plans. And so uh, we can say all the words we want. But if God has a desire for something to happen, certainly he's going to act on his desires. And prayer many times is about us sort of figuring that out. Father, thank you for revealing that to me. You know what? I'm going to align my attitude with yours on this one. So, uh, Mike, those are my thoughts on unanswered prayer, on prayer answers that we don't understand at this time, uh, on hearing nothing sometimes. Uh, you know, again, we have to uh, remember that it's not our job to bark orders at God, but instead to submit to him and depend on him, whatever that looks like.